Hey guys, this is my out of theater reaction for Afraid. Blumhouse is afraid, and you can't spell afraid without AI. I see what you did there, Blumhouse. Um, so, Blumhouse is very 50 50 when it comes to their movies, and I think I'm even being a little generous with that. I mean, you know, half the time they might make something good, the other half something pretty bad, you know, downright stinky. And 2024 has been pretty bad for them so far, I would say, with films like Night Swim and, and Imaginary more recently. And I was hoping that Afraid would be more, more you know, something of quality like, like Megan. Um, I wasn't uh, expecting to be as good or certainly as good as something like Jordan Peele's Get Out, but I was, I was hopeful. But sadly, uh, Afraid is, while not as disappointing and as terrible, is something like Night Swim or Imaginary. It's it's pretty disappointing. You know, it's it's like a checklist of, you know, AI gone awry, you know, killer robot movies. I mean, you you you've seen this stuff time and time again. It's just going through a a, a checklist, really. I mean, the whole premise of the film is you follow John Cho, Catherine Waterston, they play this couple, they got a small family, they're gifted this, you know, artificial intelligence, a, uh, you know, it acclimates itself to their home, you know, it takes care of the bills, takes care of the kids, but, you know, it gets a little too attached, you know, a little too independent, and, and it goes uh, awry. It, it gets a little too human if you will, and it starts doing creepy things, weird things, and again, you've, you've seen all this stuff before, whether it be in films like uh, 2001's A Space Odyssey, um, to even the Disney Channel original classic Smart House. It, it does all the same things that those movies do. The, the one thing I will say, um, just, to, just to let people know uh, ahead of time, if, if you were like, okay, like really into the trailer, um, they don't have a lot of the stuff that's in the trailer. Like, all those creepy lines that you heard, and it's like, oh, it's like there's referencing something that's far larger going on. It's like, none of that's in the movie. A lot of that was stripped out. And that's what leads me to believe that so much of this film is on the editing room floor. This is a very short movie, despite feeling long, because it's poorly paced and honestly pretty goddamn dull. But it's obvious that there's at least, I want to say like a half hour stripped out of this thing. Um, where they probably set up more interesting scenarios than are presented in the film itself. And that's frustrating because just so much of this movie just feels like a rejected script for like a Black Mirror episode. It's not, not even as good as a Black Mirror episode. It's one of the scripts that they were like, I mean, this is okay. It's very bare bones. It's very simple, you know, but we see it again. This thing, there's nothing about this movie that makes it stand out among so many of its peers, you know, whether it be, you know, current films about AI or even older movies from back in the day. And that in itself is just frustrating. You just, most of the time, it's just, it's constantly being over the head like AI is terrifying, AI is bad. And believe me, I have a lot of reservations. I have a lot of problems with AI, but it's not telling me anything new. It's not doing anything very interesting. Um, and the horror moments that they have in here, they amount to jump scares. That's what it is. And it feels like, so much of this movie was taken out, it was gutted, put in some jump scares to appeal to, you know, the horror in, in enthusiasts, which I am one of them, but I don't care for jump scares like that. And uh, yeah, it just, it, it's incredibly predictable. You've seen this time and time again. And honestly, you know, you, you would do better off watching a, a better, you know, evil killer AI movie, you know, or, or a, a, an episode of Black Mirror, something that has a little innovation. Uh, they add something new to the concept, and that's what this movie is. It's just, it's just nothing new. You've seen it time and time again, and it's just downright dull. So, yeah, that's my general thoughts on, on Afraid, because you can't spell Afraid without AI. Very disappointing. Um, certainly not the worst Blumhouse movie this year, but not very good. But as always, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll be posting my review later today. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.